So after we had those PlayStation 5 preview events that took place over the weekend, one of the biggest things that came up was about the overall sound that the system would make because, let's face it, the PlayStation 4 Pro wasn't exactly the quietest system to the point where even Mark Cerny himself called it out saying that, oh, an axe from God of War, right? That was like the barometer at the high end. The system would get very loud. Mine, at times, sounds like a jet engine, right? That's just the way it is right now with those systems. It wasn't designed specifically with later gen, I guess, games in mind, right? Ones that would really push the system overall. But the PlayStation 5 seems to have a massive focus when it comes to the cooling inside, even so much that we've had reports saying that the cost of the cooling solution inside the PS5 is above average for a game console. So that seems to be one of the biggest questions right now is how is how is Sony exactly cooling this system to where people who got to play it over the weekend said it was almost silent and it was cool to the touch even after an hour of gameplay in a relatively warm room, about 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, I had a couple of images that were making the rounds and sent over to me by a bunch of people asking me to take a look at it because it appears to show a PlayStation 5 with the side panel off. This is still, I think, some sketchy images. Like, I don't know how trusted the source is, but it's not completely out of the realm of possibility with what I've seen in these images. And we're going to take a look at them here today for some fun to see if we can maybe get an idea as to what's going on inside of that PlayStation 5 system. Guys, if, if you're brand new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down for Spawn Wave Plus and like the video if you guys enjoy it. Let's go over here to the image in question that's been sent to me probably 10 or 15 times. And you can see here it shows a large portion of the panel for the PS5 off, right? I mean, that's like 90% of the image is this big white panel that we've already seen multiple times. This panel is on the opposite side. It seems because it has that PlayStation logo at the top of the disk drive, right? So remember on the system, the PS5 system that takes a disk, one side is flat, more uniform like what the digital version is, but the other side has that large bump at the bottom because we have a disk drive attached to it. We've said before, it looks kind of like an afterthought for that disk drive to be placed there. Uh, but this is the side panel on the opposite side of what appears to be right here, the PlayStation 5 without either panel on because it's sitting kind of flat on the desk, it looks like there. And it's really weird to see this, right? Because it doesn't look anything like a PlayStation 5 from where we're used to because we're used to seeing the panels on the side of it. And I have a feeling it's going to be a very weird system to tear down when I finally get a hold of one or whenever Sony decides to take uh, take the stage on YouTube and actually tear it down like they did with the PlayStation 4. That was about a week before the PS4 came out. So I'm thinking we'll see a teardown for the PS5 from Sony probably like the first week of November is my guess somewhere in there just to kind of continue the hype going into launch but at the top here we can see a fan grill and people were concerned they're like that doesn't look like a very large fan but keep in mind the ps5 is a big system it's a very tall system right and this is kind of zoomed out a bit we can tell that that is the front of the ps5 because it has that curve all the way around and then it looks like that bottom part there kind of this bottom metallic area is the disk drive and what they would probably do for the disk drive kind of being hanging off on its own is they put something on top of it, most likely to kind of stabilize it because otherwise it could be bent or hit or something could happen to the top of it. And then you hit the disk drive. That makes sense to have a large plate on top of it. It'll add weight, but it'll also protect the disk drive that generally is fairly open on the top. They'll usually have some sort of very thin piece of aluminum that goes over it but they also have other things on top of it to kind of protect it. So that would make sense that they would go that route. But that fan grill at the top, I'm thinking still that there could be two fans inside of the PlayStation 5. It's either going to be two fans or one very sizable fan, I'll say. And while the grill from this image doesn't look huge, I could still see this being a 140 millimeter fan uh, at, at the, the minimum just to cool the system. And keep in mind, just because you see the fan grill there, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the exact size of the fan. A great example is the PlayStation 3 Slim has a fairly large grill, plastic grill going around it with the top of it opened, but the fan is larger than the opening. It just needs the opening just enough to get air in, and then it creates kind of this suction kind of vortex where it pulls air completely through, and that helps it to do that. 
and I sort of believe that they're going to do something similar here. The fan itself is a bit larger than that opening where that fan grill is, and it'll pull air completely through the system. And just looking at the front of it, it really looks like they're trying to pull in as much air as they can to get through this system, which could help with the fan spinning maybe uh, slower so that it won't make as much noise. And that would make sense from what we're hearing from the people who got a chance to actually play the thing. Now, I also want to go back over to 4Gamer, who had a ton of high-resolution images for the PlayStation 5. Remember, one thing that was pointed out by The Verge was this weird, like... Like, this weird lug nut looking thing kind of inside of the vent on the PlayStation 5. And people are still trying to figure out what that is, myself included. It's really hard to say until we get that side panel off. And unfortunately, the image that we just took a look at, it's just, it's too out of focus, too far away from the camera to really get an idea. But if you look at, like, the 4Gamer image here, it looks like there's four of them here, right? Like, I don't know if that's just me. Maybe it's the kind of the glossiness the image here reflecting, but... It looks like it's not just one, it's multiple kind of one of those lug nuts that are being pointed out here. And again, hard to say what it is because originally people thought that might be a button that you press down and it kicks it open. Or maybe it's something you unscrew and it reveals where the NVMe drive when you do get that side panel off. Like now it's really, really hard to say what that could be. Uh, again, that's around the fan area. So it's possible it could be some extra kind of bracing around that fan where maybe they have an extra plate and they're using these larger lug nut screw looking things. I don't know. It really is weird. It, it's kind of the new mystery of the PS5 now is what are these weird sockets that are inside of the vents right now? So it, it is odd, it, especially since they're so visible, right? It's like they had to put them there. There was nowhere else to go with them. So I don't know. Hopefully they are at least functional and they're, it's not just a waste for them to be there because it is kind of noticeable if you look at it at the right angle. But I have to say, the only thing that really annoys me about this PS5, and we'll see because this could just be, apparently they left the film on the PS5, the front part. That looks, it, it's so glossy, and they all, it always gets scratched. Like, glossy plastic just gets torn up no matter what you do, right? Like, a lot of times even dust will scratch it up. So, it could be less glossy than what's being shown here because you can even see some of the, the remnants of some of the plastic kind of right here, right? So, maybe when that gets peeled off, it's more of a matte finish kind of or just not as glossy other than that though you know what this is a it, it look it gets better the more I look at it I, I will say and some of the images that we got from 4gamer where they got really close up to this system I think it looks better it is a little weird looking with the disk drive on the side isn't it I mean it's it does look like an afterthought but it certainly would be a conversation starter in the in the living room mostly a uh, hey what is that thing you know kind of conversation but let me know what you guys think about the PlayStation 5 down below, especially with this kind of this accidental teardown, sort of. The panel is off. It looks like there is a little grill there, but from what we've heard so far, it's a quiet system. It's very odd that these images are just popping up, though. We, they also had images of, like, the UI and the, and the kind of the stand on the bottom, but they don't go much further than this with the UI, so I don't know. It's, it is a very odd situation with all of that. Hopefully Sony just tells us it's it's just the UI. It's the startup menu. Like, we're a month out. Just let us know, Sonny. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know what you think about this one down below. Make sure you like the video on the way out if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. And I'll see you next time.